वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी सो टुडे आई एम हियर विद वन ऑफ द वन ऑफ माई फाइनल लेसन इन दिस कोर्स इट्स द लेसन ऑन मैमेलिया एंड इट्स प्रजेंटेड बाई मी इफ्तार खान यू कैन फॉलो मी फॉर मोर एट अन अकेडमी डॉट इन स्लैश यूजर स्लैश इफ्तार खान सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड सो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्लास मैमेलिया मैमा मीन्स ब्रेस्ट सो दिस ग्रुप इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय having breasts which the female uses to nourish the younger ones uh they have some characteristic feature which is not present in any of the other phyla or other the classes as such the body is covered with hair and uh, there is presence of milk gland as i told you and sweat and oil glands are present in the skin the body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail in few cases okay tail may be absent in some like the humans uh the they have ear pinnae present which is the external ear which is not present in any other class uh the digits may be modified and may be ending in claws nails or hooves depending on the order and they have thecodont dentition which means the teeth is present in the socket of jaw bone and they generally heterodont they have uh, four different types the incisors the canines the premolars and the molars and they specifically have seven neck vertebrae okay they have ho- they are homeothermic and that means they are warm blooded and the heart is four chambered like the previous one and they have an extra abdominal testis which is contained in scrotal gland so scrotal sacs so why is it important is because uh, the spermatogenesis uh, requires 2 degrees lesser temperature than the normal temperature uh, than the body temperature as such and they are viviparous that is they give birth to young ones and the fetus is nourished by the mother through placenta so here is the classification uh, between the three subclasses of mammalia we have prototheria metatheria and eutheria so the prototheria uh, then we'll first talk about the ears so the prototheria does not have any external ears while both the metatheria and the eutheria have an external ear or ear pinna okay uh the teeth are absent in the adult in prototheria while they are present in both the young and the adults in the case of metatheria and eutheria then we'll talk about the placenta placenta is absent in the case of prototheria uh because they are oviparous so they, they do not need pro- that even in the case of metatheria uh there is no placenta okay so as a result uh immature young ones are born okay which need to be carried around in the pouch of the mother so that they can be fully developed and uh, eutheria has a well developed placenta and le- and uh, leads to the formation of mature young ones okay the mammary glands are present but they are devoid of nipples and nipples are present in both metatheria and eutheria so the examples are ornithorhynchus or duckbill platypus kangaroo which is also known as macropus and eutheria has a lot of lot of variety of organisms so the class mammalia has been divided into various orders of all the orders there are seven important ones of order 1 is rodentia order 2 is chiroptera order 3 is carnivora order 4 is primate order 5 cetacea order 6 proboscidea and order 7 ungulata so i'll talk about each one by one uh, so uh, firstly i'll talk about rodentia so rodentia basically includes rat that is ratus and squirrels basically these are included in rodentia okay so usually herbivorous and terrestrial okay they have long sharp and chisel shaped incisors for cutting okay and their fore limbs are shorter than the hind limbs as you can imagine by by thinking about a rat 
then the next subclass of eutheria which is the second order the second order is chiroptera so these are basically the flying mammals and the four limbs are adapted for flight so you can imagine about uh the bats the bats are the best example for it and there is a skin fold which is known as patagium which works as the wing and the hind limbs are thin and short because they usually use the fold limb more and the hind limb less uh they have a poor eyesight but they avoid colliding against objects by echolocation and it's quite similar and it has the same principle as the radar the example is bat okay uh now we'll come to the third order in the subclass eutheria that's carnivora carnivores are basically flesh eating mammals which have sharp canines to tear flesh the canines they are very sharp canines to tear flesh imagine looking at a tiger for instance so you can see uh, two projections from the side of the mouth which are basically the po- large pointed canines and they also have fingers with sharp claws to help catch the prey the examples are lion which is panthera leo tiger which is panthera tigris and felis and canis so dog is canis and cat is felis uh then we come to the fourth order uh, which is primates and they are very important ones because because we uh, ourselves belong to the primates group as such okay uh so they have highly developed brain okay they are very developed brain and the eyes are set forward to provide binocular vision okay and they have a mobile neck so uh and the limbs have five digits with flat nails okay the thumb of the hand and the great toe of the feet are opposable that is they can be opposed to with the uh with the other four fingers mainly the thumb and two thoracic mammae are present so the example given here are wrong so the examples are humans uh then a uh, monkey which are also which the scientific name is macaca and the gorillas the gibbon is the smallest mammal so the example is wrong here then we have fifth order which is cetacea so these are basically aquatic and the four limbs have been modified into paddles they do not have any neck they look like fish but they respire by lung okay so the example is whale the blue whale is the scientific name of blue whale is balenoptera and it's the largest living animal okay uh one is the whales and the other one is a dolphin which is the scientific name is delphinus uh then we have the order 6 proboscidea which are large herbivore teles- terrestrial organisms so uh, they are basically the m- most important example is elephant which is elephas okay uh they have the fusion of the upper lip and nose to form a log probile trunk so uh like as you can imagine in the elephant okay the upper lip is fused and the nose uh is fused with it to form a long mobile neck and only one pair of incisors in upper jaws is present which form huge tusks in males okay then we have the last order which is order 7 ungulata they are basically the hoofed animals they are herbivorous and they can be usually domesticated by man because of their mild nature uh, the mammae are abdominal and they have nipples so the examples being deers cows and sheep so i think this is it for this lecture guys thank you guys thanks for this listening to this whole whole course of mine thank you guys thank you so much